Australia's freight task is predicted to double in the next 20 years. That means we need to find more productive ways to move everyday goods and the products we grow and manufacture. The new generation of high productivity vehicles are a key part of how Australia needs to respond to this challenge and make a big difference to both the cost of transporting goods and reducing congestion on our roads by taking less trips to deliver the same amount of freight. Since the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator was established in January 2013, it has administered the Performance-Based Standards Scheme, which approves innovative heavy vehicle combinations based on how they perform, rather than merely fitting within prescribed mass and dimension limits. The use of performance-based standards means that we can have less trucks on the road, moving more goods to meet the needs of the growing economy. Every Australian requires seven tonnes of aggregates uh, per annum, uh, to support the $172 billion building and construction industry. PBS Vehicles has meant to our business a 31% increase in productivity in payload that we car. It means that for every three B-double trips that we were doing, we now do the task in two A-double trips. Well, we're always looking to get the most of our, out of our company fleet. When PBS came out and we, we found out about it, to get the extra payload and gain an extra seven tonne uh, payload. Over five loads you've reduced the need for one truck. So it's not only a good outcome for us but it's also a good outcome for the communities. It really is a win-win for us if we can get it working properly. Yeah, for instance if we talk about the vehicle beside me here, this vehicle has got an indicative payload of probably 34 to 35 tonne. It will take one truck off the road for every three loads that it does. So if there's no truck on the road, there's less pavement wear. The benefit that we have for using our performance-based combinations are that we have reduced movements, particularly alone in Blacktown City Council, of approximately 40 trips a week. The operation of these combinations within our business cannot be underestimated. Performance-based standards means that we have a much safer type of combination than our road network than some of the old traditional type of trucks that we see. So a huge advantage to the way we can manage our safety on our roads the interface between the community and the heavy vehicle, the interface between other road users and heavy vehicles. We have had improved safety records. These vehicles are fitted with road-friendly suspension, all the latest safety features and designs, including rear and front cameras. They have the latest emission controls and meet all the standards there. We can look at less tyre wear, we can look at less fuel burn, we can look at less um, driver hours on the road. We can look at a community impact advantage by having less vehicles on the road. Just because the truck's bigger doesn't mean it's not safer. It's, for me, the next wave of innovation in our trucking industry. It will provide more productivity movement, which less trucks on our network, making our rural communities, our regional centres much more efficient, much more productive. And hopefully, at the end of the day, potentially, the less in the cost of goods that actually make our shelves. Obviously, transport costs uh, is a major component to the cost of the final delivered good, particularly about 25% of transport costs in the, in the final product. Uh, and so for us, um, uh, keeping those costs down uh, is the driving factor. Well, the challenges for us is approximately $40,000 difference between a quad PBS axle combination compared to a three axle trailer combination. So unless I'm going to get the guarantee, then you know, I, I can't justify the extra capital to, to the company uh, and, and obviously the community and everyone else suffers from that not being able to have those trucks or less trucks on the road. What we're hoping at the end of the day is the response from a road manager reflects the community's desire to have a lower cost basis for their goods to be delivered and a business desire to have the best cost basis to put their product to market. Uh, so it's a, it's a win-win-win. It's a win for our industry and our members in terms of keeping transport costs down. It's a win for the community in terms of reduced trucks on the road and safer trucks on the road. Uh, and it's also a win for the environment because PBS vehicles are more efficient uh, in terms of fuel use. Uh, and obviously you need less trucks to do the same uh, amount of work. For these vehicles to be used to their full potential, it's important for road managers to consider their benefits and allow access to a wide part of the road network. There's been a bit of difficulty in getting some of these vehicles on the roads. So some of the councils, as soon as you say it operates on the B-double network, that's why they think it's straight away a B-double. These vehicles are six metres shorter than a B-double. 
in lots of cases take similar sort of wakes. As manufacturers, we offer decision makers the opportunity to contact us at Sloan Built so we can help inform them to make the correct decision regarding PBS. Informed decisions can only be based on good engineering facts and figures. We have those facts, we have those figures. We need to share that knowledge with people that make the right decisions for the right people for the right reasons. By saying no to higher productivity vehicles, road managers are saying yes to older style vehicles that damage their roads more. With the advent of performance based standards, the opportunity now exists for industry to have a much more robust discussion with local government. Sitting down with your local council and talking about the benefits that come from having performance based standards or higher productivity vehicles operating in your shire. This country is renowned for its engineering, creativity and innovation. The advancements that we've seen in performance based standards in the heavy vehicle industry needs to be adopted. I appreciate that there might be some reservation and concern, but the regulator is here to help local governments understand what performance-based vehicles can do, how they operate on the network, how we can move more with less. I urge you all to take the time to understand the benefits that PBS can bring not only to your local community, but to the broader Australian economy and help achieve what we've all been looking for as a much more productive, efficient heavy vehicle industry. If we could get PBS A-doubles to our depot on the Sunshine Coast, the 100 kilometres north of Brisbane, we would have a net reduction of 800 B-double trips per year. Why wouldn't you do that?